Hi and welcome to the first video. This first video of helping you accelerate your network marketing business in Organo Gold or just accelerate yourself in any business is finding prospects. So tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, business without clients is not a business, right? So Eric Pro, Eric Worry's book, Go Pro, is a must read, but he says, look, you gotta find prospects. Now there's a couple ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. There's your warm market, there's your cold market. There's a salesman, his name is Joe Girard. He's in the Guinness Book as the greatest salesperson of all time. And he said very simply, everybody he talked to, he didn't consider that he was just talking to that one person. He was talking to at least Absolutely, 250 yeah. people. How do you find out 250? He says if there's a Marion or a Barian, there tends to be 250 at the funeral or 250 on each side, bride and groom at a wedding. So we all are connected on the average to 250 people, some dramatically I'm, more than I'm, that. I must admit, I didn't get that right at the beginning. I just thought, well, who do you know? But now, having been in this business for a while, and this is part of why we want to impart some of this information for you so you don't make the same mistakes that we did, well, whoever you meet, it's, it's often not them, it's who they know. And uh, the biggest skill of this century is definitely going to be who you know. What you know is important, but who you know creates uh, and, it, and even people you don't know, you can meet them by going up to them and, and sharing some coffee with them. Yeah, yeah. Your network, your network is your net worth. That's it, the new buzz phrase of this yeah. current market. But in, in terms of finding prospects, right, you know more people than you think you know. The next part will be inviting, but let me give you a catchphrase that'll spill over. Conversation before presentation leads to failure. You want to invite people, you want to create intrigue but you don't want to start telling them and you don't want to use some bad words, which we'll get into too, because there are some words that will push people away. Mm -hmm. By the way, when it comes to finding prospects, let's talk about the law of the first impression, right? Yeah. Another great book, which is called Now You Know by Ryan Chamberlain. That's a these great are, book. These are experts in, in the field, but the law of the first impression is actually pretty simple. You want to look your best. You want to be your best. People are attracted to people that add energy to the room, not subtract energy from the room, right? Uh, I had a, a job interview as a chiropractor way back when, over 23 years ago, trying to get involved with a really major clinic and I asked the doctor, what are you looking for? He says, I want someone who smells good and has good energy. <laughs> so I want you to do that. I want you to smell good. I want you to have good energy and probably above everything else, put other people's needs above yeah. your own. I mean, we've already mentioned two books. There's another book, Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I mean, look, we're not going to recommend things for you to do just for the sake of it, but there's one of these, uh, one of his habits, which is seek first to understand people. If you want to influence people, if you want people to come and play with you and listen to you, you got to listen to them first. So finding prospects is one thing. That, you know, the next thing is getting them to be interested in you. So, like you say, you have to be the best you, uh, and that's one of the things I find one of the biggest challenges anyone faces is believing in yourself. Maybe we'll come to that in one of the other videos. But you know, it's so essential. You find the prospects, you present to them in a way that makes them feel, hey, I don't know what it is about this guy, but I like him, I, I wanna do business with him. And with Organo Gold, uh, it's so important to get your head around this. This is a business that this year is online at the moment, was $700 million, right? Absolutely, I wanna, I wanna go back to several things you said. Back to Stephen Covey. One of the things he says is we have two ears, one mouth, use them in that proportion, right? Listen, listen, listen. And don't just listen to hear the words and think what you're gonna say next. Listen empathically. Mm. Try to put yourself in that person's shoes. Try to understand where they're at. You've gotta remember the form acronym, family, occupation, recreation, message. So tell me about your family. Do you have a wife? Do you have kids? Tell me about your, your parents. How did you get here? What do you currently do for work? What do you like most about that? What, what are your greatest challenges with that? These will give you so much, so much insight. Recreation. They might tell you, you know what, I really love to go boating. I just don't have the time or the money, can't afford a boat. Wow. What well, first thing we want to do for you is get it such that you can mm. take a weekend a month and rent a boat. And then ultimately, if that's your goal, we want to put you in a luxury yacht that you own. And, and your message is actually pretty simple, right? I want to share with you something that I think will change your life. Keep it that simple, leave it there. Conversation before presentation leads yeah. to failure. I thought I was good at this. I, I thought I was good. So like finding prospects is, is relatively easy. Just walk outside and find them. But it's what you do with them when you got them. And I thought I was pretty good at asking the right questions, but watching Dr. Bob over the last week that he was here in the UK, 
uh, there was a girl who was maybe 19 years old working at a golf club and you asked her what, uh, what her name was and then you asked her what she did and then you asked this really powerful question which I challenge you to ask people. When he found out what, he did, what she did, he then said, what is it about working here that you like best? And I thought, that's a bit of, I didn't think it was a weird question, I just thought, what a question to ask. And she went, I love it when we have big weddings. When we have big events, there's lots of things going on, people coming together. And that's really powerful information because we could have said to her, listen, let us, let us tell you about our, the business that we're in because we run these really big events where lots of people come together, loads of energy, because often people want to be a part of that. These are skills that you need to apply because it's what all of the people already do. You don't have to go to university to study this stuff. It's, it's common sense. What we're here to do is to help you make common sense, common practice. Is there anything else we want to say here about finding prospects? You know, I, I think you said it all, but I, I want to just elaborate on that just a little bit more. In, in medicine, we say prescription before diagnosis is malpractice. If you're going to try to prescribe a way to help someone achieve their goals, you better understand what they are, who they are, where they currently are, and where they want to go. And that's all about listening. Listen, mm -hmm. absorb, learn, care. People don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. Yeah, I think some of the, so this is another very important point. I hope you're writing some of this stuff down. You know, how many times do you have to expose someone? to the business, to the coffee before they say yes. Some of the greatest people in my team, it, it, they, they, two, three months, four months until they went right, you know, I'm in. And that's where network marketing maybe in the, in the past has got a bad press by people pushing people. You should see yourself as a friend to everyone. You're sharing information, you're sharing coffee, you're sharing an opportunity. And that's all that you can do. And I think if you, if you do that, things will just happen for you. Guaranteed. So that's our first video on uh, finding prospects and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video. Uh, hang on a second, just to re reiterate those three books, right? Eric Worre's book, GoPro, or listening to it, whatever you prefer to do, read or listen, you have got to check that out. You also Ryan, Ryan Chamberlain, Now You Know. Now You Know. Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And while we're going there, yeah. the modern day how to win friends and influence people is by a, a British guy named Nicholas Boothman. It's entitled, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less. Shows you how to be incredibly positive and interested in people. And you, and you want to yeah. uh, maybe just add one more. You might be thinking, whoa, there's a lot of information here. Listen, you can just pick one and start with one and move on. But for me, the one that really set me on my way was that Jim Rohn, uh, what's uh, that called? Building the, Your Network Marketing Building Business. Building Your it's Network audio. Marketing yeah. Business. I think network marketing is the best business in the world, providing you find a product that people want and want it again and again and again that will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. But you've got to learn these skills and you've got to become, not just learn them, you've got to become a master at them. So with your list that you're building, again, I didn't get this in the beginning, every day you should be adding to your list and following people up. That's what you're in the business of. You're in the business of people and, and building the relationship you have with them. So I think we've said enough now. Absolutely. See you now on the next video. Happy day. Happy day.